Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel and the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I've got a bit of a special. I wanted to show you, this is a good friend of mine's wristwatch. It's a Patek Philippe 5056P. So it's a platinum annual calendar. Now this watch here is very similar to the Patek Philippe annual calendar I used to own, which was the 5035. This one's a little bit different. It's a 5056. And what the difference is, number one, it's platinum. Number two, it has got uh, what you would call the revised dial layout. Because what happened with the 5035, it became the 5036. And they moved uh, some of the functions. Uh, they did them slightly differently. They added a moon phase. They took off the 24-hour time. And they, uh, they added a power reserve. So... This piece here has the revised layout like the 5036. This watch itself is uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, this watch came from the period from the, the late 90s until the mid 2000, mid noughties, I should say. And it uh, this was also when Patek Philippe wanted to signify platinum by putting a diamond at the six o'clock position on the uh between the lugs so this has one of those uh diamonds there which is a beautiful um a beautiful thing to add and i think any watch enthusiast would agree this is probably one area where diamonds is perfect to signify a platinum piece um, this piece here has got the beautiful Starburst grey dial, very, very beautifully done. It's got Romans, Romans, that's Times Romans font, uh, sorry, Times Roman characters instead of Arabics. It's beautifully done, absolutely beautifully done. The whole case itself on this piece here is 37 mils, but it's just the quintessential dress watch. And I've got to tell you, if you want something just absolutely amazing this is such a piece interestingly enough Patek Philippe pioneered the annual calendar in the late 90s and this piece here is said to contain more components than a perpetual calendar so um, one wonders whether the um, the actual build cost is not similar if not the same as a perpetual calendar an interesting feature of this piece here is the center seconds. Most Patek um, perpetual calendars don't have a second hand because the 240 movement uh, doesn't support center seconds. The other beautiful thing about this, this piece here is just the absolute um, gorgeous, gorgeous layout. The, the, everything is done so beautifully. Many modern annual calendars are designed for the, the, the market, the size. This was built around the 315 movement, which is Patek's bread and butter, large rotor, automatic movement and power horse. That magnificent 315 movement uh, was later changed. The beats per hour were upped to 28.8 and it became the three to four movement but this one this watch here is featuring the um the previous uh version which is the 315 movement absolutely beautifully 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 done here it's a beautiful piece um these are very very special everything about it is is absolutely gorgeous Patek annual calendars, well, they invented the genre, and this, uh, in that time period of, of late 90s, early 2000s, would have been the, uh, the bee's knees. Absolutely striking piece. 
And um, I've got to tell you, Platinum itself there, I have felt this, this watch and also compared to a 5035, it is, it is a heavier watch. This watch here, if we look at the dial, there's a slight dial blemish. And um, one, one negative of this, this particular complication is that it is susceptible to getting a bit of moisture damage, particular, particularly in a climate like Australia or in Asia. If you look at the side of the case, there's little pusher pins, which that's what adjusts the, the, different, calen the different eyes on this watch. And unfortunately, this is four extra points where moisture can come in. Now, um, this, is, this is an important thing to realize. This, this is a delicate watch. It's, it's not a piece which you should really wear every day. Looking at that gorgeous rotor, the other piece, this interesting thing is this piece is equipped with a platinum deployant buckle. Most 5056s came standard with the pin buckle. So this previous owner to this has paid extra to get the, the platinum buckle, which is considerably considerable cost that's that is for sure the watch itself is just absolutely beautiful the 37 mils this watch was built around the 315 annual calendar movement and i don't think we'll ever see a watch as elegant and charming as this modern uh, patek annual calendars are amazing in recent times patek has uh, launched the 5396 and the 5205. Both of these are gorgeous representations. However, there's a humble honesty with the 5035, 5036 and 5056. And the platinum version is of course the epitome of this range and time presence. Because this piece here uh, was stopped production mid 2000s, like 2005, 2006, it is bearing the Geneva seal. Some would argue this period before the Patek Philippe seal is the golden age of Patek Philippe. That's not to put anything down from the, the current lineup, but this, this piece here is an absolute stunner. If you want a complicated Patek in a super precious metal, the 5056P is one of the superb watches that you must consider. In fact, this watch here itself uh, belonged to a dealer friend who decided not to sell it because he simply fell in love with it and couldn't dare part with it. I'm Paul Pluter on the Archie Luxury Channel. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and put a few comments down below. Oh. Thank you. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life.
Hey guys, it's Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Guys, I want to have a quick talk to you. Do you need to sell a wristwatch? Do you want to uh, sell a piece uh, for reinvestment? Do you have too many watches? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that my good friends at Sydney and Brisbane Vintage Watch Co., are looking for quality wristwatches for their store. Now, Ronnie has instructed me to tell you guys that he is paying more than other dealers. That's correct. He pays top prices for quality pieces. So guys, if you've got a Rolex, a Rolex you want to sell, or a Patek, or anything, you want to sell a wristwatch, Give the guys at Vintage Watch, Vintage Sydney, Vintage, well, it's Vintage Watch Co. Vintage Watch Co. Give them a call. That's right, guys. Um, <clears throat> they're paying good prices. They've always been very, very fair to me. And i, I got to tell you, they are nice people to do business with. I'm just trying to find their card here. Where are the hell did I, where did I put it, where did I put it, um, look, ask for Ronnie, Ronnie in Brisbane, or Philip in Sydney, Philip in Sydney, that's correct, they will look after you, tell them Archie sent you, that's right, tell them Archie sent you, they're paying top prices, that's correct, Brisbane and Sydney, Vintage Watch Co. Your premium place to sell watches. Tell me, guys, this is for you. Tell them Archie sent you, and they will give you extra keen pricing. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful. But you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down. But if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination.